first half. Uh, do you have an update on Nathan's condition? Yeah, he's um, obviously shoulder uh, injuries. Uh, he hurt it in the preseason and um, yeah, had some trouble with it early in the year and then throughout the hamstring sort of issues, he, yeah, he's sort of got on top of it and it's just, yeah, it's a reoccurrence tonight. What is it specifically? Like, is it dislocation or just a no, thing? Not, thing or? not sure. How concerned are you that it could be long term, short term? What are you thinking? Or what's the early diagnosis? Yeah, well, I'm concerned. It's, you know, it's bad enough for him to come off. So, um, yeah, we'll organise the scans tomorrow, and then, yeah, until we get those, and we'll um, we'll be in a better position to, yes, yeah, see our way forward. But um, yeah, it's obviously a concern. Yeah. There's footage of you and him talking to Chef on the sort of likeness what he actually had to say like he said he never comes off yeah now he really. just he, he just sort of explained how you know how he felt what you know, sort of what happened as best he could um, I was just checking in on him more than anything how was he obviously physically inside how, how was he imagine he'd be pretty upset about yeah, he's, yeah he's in better shape than he was when he did his hammy so hopefully that means that's good news but um no, he's, he's, yeah, what do you do? It's just one of those years, I think. Mean. How confident are you that you could continue this form that you've been playing without the next four weeks potentially with the finals? Well, it's not a nice thing. We've had to sort of be obviously playing games without Nath for sort of the big chance of the year just because of his hemi. So I think that should give us confidence that we know that we can do it. Obviously, have to change a little bit, but I thought Romy over that period of time has been really good for us too. So it just means that there's obviously going to have to be individuals that step up and uh, but yeah, it certainly hasn't been new this season, I don't think. You mentioned the confidence there, how often are you that they think you've been diligent with that recovery? Because like I say, he has had injuries like this in a particular shoulder in the past as well. Uh, he's the most diligent man I know, so yeah, in terms of that, the confidence to be sky high with it. Um, yeah, he'll take every box for sure. How do you feel, Roman? Has grown and developed in that type of play, making a really simple thing that comes Yeah, I think you've probably seen it yourself, just extremely confident. Um, felt he's, he took that into the Origin Arena as well, where um, yeah, I feel like he proved a lot of people wrong in that arena. But yeah, confidence is really high, and I feel like he, there's been periods there, for, like I touched on it, long periods where he's obviously had to do that. And I think obviously off the back of that, that, that helps your confidence knowing that you've done it as well. So, um, you yeah, know, I've got all, all the faith in him. And um, like I touched on, it's have to be other individuals around that help and, and, and grow their game too, which is exciting. What impact does it have on the team and the players when you just see about your leaders go down like that? Um, yeah, look, well, yeah. He's, for me, he's the best player in the game. So anytime he's on the field, it, you can just—it feels it grows everyone in confidence. But um, at the same time, at the same time, we're, we're a team that it's next man up attitude, and we've, we've prided ourselves on that over a long period of time now, and um, that won't be any different in this case. Does it feel like we're a little bit deflated on the field of Matthew Bernard? Um, yeah, well, you, well, you hold your breath. Just obviously, he's your, he's your leader and your captain out there, and he, he doesn't stay down if there's not something wrong there. So obviously, it was. Um, so I probably deflated us a little bit, but. Um, yeah, but probably credit to Melbourne, I thought they finished the game off really well. Injuries aside, Ivan, what did you make of the performance tonight? There's a lot to like. Um, and there's a lot to... Well, not a lot. I just think we... Yeah, the tries they scored are just were disappointed, you know, every one of them. Um, try for scrum. Two on last plays where I just don't think we're urgent enough. And then probably the worst one I've seen in five years, I reckon, so... <laughs> Apart from that, I thought we'd, we showed a lot and played a lot of good footy. So, um, yeah, that's how I'd sum the game. What did you make of that penalty there at the dead? I think it was a fair call. It wasn't fish for that, yeah. Oh, yeah, maybe. Uh, I don't know, there's a lot of calls, a lot of things going on tonight. Um, that I don't know, but um, at the end of the day, I suppose, yeah, made the call. Yeah, but I think um, not unlike the last week um, in the Parramatta game, you know, um, Tate's sort of bit in on the lead runner and they got down on the outside. So I always thought if you if you make a bad defensive read on the outside, it doesn't matter what's happening on the inside. That used to be a rule. I don't know if it still is, but uh, I'm always comfortable with that. Yeah, well, it's hard to it's hard to um, uh, I 
guess, work out which which games of Yowies are good or not because they're all good. And the difference between his best and his worst is very little. So, so it was outstanding tonight, you know, and has been all year and for many years. And, um, it's fitting that he becomes, uh, you know, the second, you know, second, you know, most long serving Panther tonight. Uh, just, just the players on that list, in that top five, uh, it's not going to be long before he passes them. And, and you know, he just embodies everything that we are in this club. And I'm so happy to have him here. Last week, you came into the press conference and said, How good is footy? And he said, Oh, you're fake. How do you deal with the roller coaster emotion? Yeah, that's what it is. You know, that's what you sign up for. Um, that's why we love it, you know. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's, we'll dust ourselves off to sort of get on to the next game, and, you know, that's what we'll do. What was the thinking with going with Dane Laurie ahead of uh, Sunea tonight? Just thought it was the best best thing for the team this week. Something for next week? We'll just take it week by week. What's that? Dane Laurie to remember. Best for the time. Yeah, exactly. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.